You have all wanted this for so long. So here it is. I'm gonna teach you how to make inventory GY inside of Hypixel Housing, including an inventories and chest. Without further ado, let's just dive right in. Now I'm gonna do a quick overview of what GY is in Hypixel Housing. GY is basically a user interface inside of Minecraft Hypixel Housing where you can shift click or click for an action. And for this, you will need the poison effect, which I go over in my poison loops video. I'll link in the card above, so yeah. First, let's start off with chest GY. So first, get yourself a chest and set it to replicate. That way it's replicate. Or if you want it to be easier, just set it to unlocked temporarily. Then get a glass pane. Any block will work, but I highly recommend a glass pane. I'm gonna do black. And then do slash edit and rename to and one, and one, and five. And if you have the neighborhood resource pack, which I talk about in my how to install housing editor video, it works really well and looks really good because a good majority of people have the housing neighborhood pack. Then once you have that set up, then make the items you want to be clickable. And make sure before you do the next step, figure out what you're going to do. Like for example, this one's plus one gold and it's going to give you a gold. And make sure to add shift click to purchase to each of these custom items. Or else the player will not know what to do with them. Because they'll just, you cannot click them. If you click them, nothing will happen. You have to shift click. And you have to be in survival. Now go to your poison loop function we made in the poison loops video. And add a conditional. And inside of it, do if has item and get one of your items. For example, I'm going to get my plus one gold. And if they have the item plus one gold, then it's going to remove the item and do whatever actions you want. For example, this one is it's going to increase the stat gold by one. Then do the same for the rest of the items. Now I added every single little bit of code for each item. I'm going to set it to replicate, do slash GMS, and it'll work. Now I'm going to test it out. If I shift click this, it'll remove, it'll remove from inventory and I have another gold. I'm going to get myself 25 gold to get a rank. Now I have enough gold so I'm going to get a rank. And now my rank is 1. Now I'm going to try the same thing for prestige. And now I'm prestige 1. So as you can see, I made a fully functional UI with three different buttons. And you can do the exact same by following the instructions in as many chests as you want. There's many different ways you can make them identify, but sadly, you cannot rename using an anvil when it's replicate. So your mind will be blown when you see what you can do with inventory GY. It's so advanced, but it's so easy to do. So wait till you see that. But before we do, only 17% of you are subbed. I don't know what the other 82.8% of you are doing. I'll be visiting houses live after I reach 500 subscribers. Now for inventory GUI, this is what you do. Just like the previous slate, you get the glass, do and one, and one, and five. Then make the items you want. I already have mine like slot one, slot two, special slots, stats, and house settings. Then once you have your inventory set up, you go to inventory layouts. You press import layout and it'll import the current you have and voila. Then go to the join event and basically add all this to join event. The inventory layout that way it applies at join event then go here then to the poison loop and basically get a conditional and basically add a has item and add an item you wouldn't be clickable like my stats and then let me emphasize this do not go to if actions go to else actions and add whatever you want there for example send a chat message stats so if i go to survival and i click this It'll send stats. And when you click it, I highly recommend removing it from the inventory and then giving it and then setting a new inventory layout. Like for example, stats. If I want it to be a new inventory layout, then I just do that. Now this does not work that well when you have blocks. Like let's say I mine sand and I've sand all of my inventory. It doesn't work that well that way, so just do it in a way or in a house where you don't mine that much, like a tycoon or a simulator. And do the exact same process for each item you can use functions or do anything complex 
Now that's it for Inventory GUI. Now make sure to contact me in the Discord comments below if you have any questions and subscribe and like the video if you want to see the 500 sub special where I visit your houses live and visiting your houses part 2 is a, just a long form video is coming soon so please leave your house in the comments below. So see you in the next one. Peace.